Hey there, how's it going? Well, I've been DJing in Second Life, and I've been enjoying that a lot. I had to switch software. I was using Mix, and it just completely failed me, as what often happens with open source software that I like to call open sores. Because, yeah, the, the problems are all out in the open, and nothing gets done about them, right? Uh, unless the right person who knows that part of the code wants to contribute something to it, right? I don't know. I think I thought Mix was open source. At least it's it's operated that way. It's free, right? But there's a reason it's free, and and there's there's a problem with the when you. Uh, it, it allows you to have multiple places that you stream to, right? But the database gets corrupted like that, and there's no way to. T I, I haven't been able to figure out how to tell when it gets corrupted or how to avoid getting it corrupted. And then you can't delete all the entries. It says, no, no, there must be at least one entry. Well, when you, tr when you try to create a new entry, it bases it off the old entry. Anyway, it leads to a nightmarish sort of situation. I'm sure there's some weird, antiquated way of getting out of it, and they'll say that, oh, that's the answer. We're not going to fix the problem because, well, I'm not having the issue, and you can take care of it by going doing this, 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 and this. No, that's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll go to a paid software. So now I'm paying a monthly fee to use Virtual DJ. And I gave up my club in Second Life. Well, it's, it wasn't really a club. It, it was just my place. It kind of looked like a miniature little bitty, little bitty club, but it, it you know. Um, I gave up that, and, uh, and hopefully the amount that I make in uh in tips when i when i dj will pay for the you know will pay for the, the monthly fee it's not that much so um but anyway uh in looking for new music and you know more of what's current so i'm not just playing classics um i'm just noticing so much so many biblical references you know, Five Finger Death Punch has this song, uh, uh, I'm on the wrong side of heaven and the righteous side of hell. Really? Really? <laughs> it, that's, you could, well, that's, well, it's certainly not Christian. Well, it, it kind of is, because it's, in order to, for that to have any significance at all, you'd have to believe in the concepts of the Bible. And I'm finding tons of lyrics that are this way. I'm just like, okay. Um, yeah, you're, you're really rebelling, right? <laughs> um, I mean, I guess, you know, within your belief system, you're rebelling, but, uh, have you ever thought about rebelling against the whole belief system? That would be, that would be more of an, of a genuine rebelling, but we all have things that we think that we're rebelling against, but actually aren't. You know, things that, you know, I certainly can count a number of things in my life that I've thought I've, I was rebelling against and was, in actuality, was just enforcing the whole thing. It, it, now, maybe with some of these people who are, who are experiencing the other side of their beliefs, maybe they'll eventually see that, oh, well, I could just leave this whole belief, but, because sometimes you have to see the extremes of both sides to find a center point or to find a way out, right? So, anyway, um, I guess I don't know what more to say. I just I just think it's interesting how, how many biblical references there are in rock still to this day. Um, The, the whole good and e good versus evil thing the whole yeah anyway